Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Just gonna be talking about and following up on my last video where I talked about the Blackmagic Cinema 6K G2. And I showed you guys a video about how Blackmagic Design released a video talking about the software update 7.9 and Resolve Studio Beta, which is out now so you can download Resolve Beta Studio 18. And I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is after you update your cameras to 7.9 and it starts recording the gyro data in the B-RAW files and how you can use DaVinci Resolve Studio Beta 18 to use the gyro data and stabilize your footage even better. I shot some footage today in the gym uh, and yeah, I was honestly blown away. It still looks a little bit handheld, but it does shake away the most of the big, big shakes and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna dive right in and I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to leave a few samples of the before and after of the footage so you can see how much the stabilization works much better than the original ones. So yeah, let's just dive right in and I'm going to show you how simple it is. So now that I have a few clips on the timeline, as you can see, there's four different clips. These are all, uh, some of these are like 4K video files and some of these are 6K. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, after you're updated to camera version 7.9 and downloaded Resolve Studio Public Beta 18, what you want to do is simply just put your footage on the timeline. And once you go down to stabilization, this might be on automatically or by default. So if it is, you can probably see that it's already zoomed quite a bit. But after you've updated your camera to the new software update, what you're going to see is, apart from the three regular options, there's going to be another one here which says camera gyro and this is only going to be available on footage that you've shot after 7.9 this is something i was disappointed by i was hoping that somehow the camera was recording gyro data in all of the b-raw footage and we could go back and you know stabilize our old footage as well but apparently that's not the case uh, camera only starts recording the gyro data from the gyro sensor after you update the camera to 7.9 so I should you should definitely go ahead and do that right now if you haven't already so you click on gyro camera gyro and you click on stabilize and after it's done stabilizing I'm gonna play it back quite laggy but all this is handheld and it has zoomed quite a bit in so if I turn the stabilization off you can see it zoomed quite a bit in but if I play it back without the stabilization you can definitely see there's a lot of jittering and handheld motion going on there which is definitely eliminated by the camera gyro so it does a pretty good job if you if you do a good job of like keeping it pretty stable and you try uh, try your best it can do a pretty good job, not gonna lie, so. But yeah, let's move on to the next footage. Uh, this is a footage where I move over to the side a little bit. So yeah, what we're gonna do is go back to this footage and select camera gyro again and click on stabilize. So it's gonna analyze the footage and yeah we can get to see some magic it does zoom quite a bit so it'd be a good idea to use a wide angle lens on things you know you're gonna have to like stabilize later as always but yeah so it doesn't look like it's on a gimbal but it does eliminate a lot of the big big bumps um so that's definitely a good thing with this one I zoom in and i'm at a pretty low angle and I'm pointing the camera up as you can definitely see that there's a there's a lot of shakes in here so what we're gonna do is pause the footage I'm gonna go to the mode select camera gyro again and we're gonna let it stabilize and we can see the result for ourselves it does zoom in quite a bit as you can see but after we play it back I'm hoping it's quite stable. It is. It does a pretty good job. And as I told you, uh, this is, I'm pretty sure, a 4K file. Yes. So it does have to zoom in quite a bit. Um, so it, it would definitely be a good idea to use a 6K footage or use a wider lens so it has more room to play with. 
but yeah, after it's done its job, it's pretty stable though. So, as we move on to the last footage on the timeline, um, not a lot of movement in this one, but I definitely moved the camera around quite a bit from like one position. Uh, so we're gonna go back to stabilization again, click on camera gyro, click on stabilize, let it analyze the footage. And yeah, we can definitely see some improvements in the final video file. Yeah, definitely does look a lot of stable. And yeah, that's gonna be all. I'm gonna leave some sample footage at the end of the before and after so you can have a look for yourself. I know the video was a little bit laggy with the playback after stabilization. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching this. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, let me know down in the comments if you need me to talk about anything else. And yeah, hopefully you guys can update to camera version 7.9 as well and to the public beta 18 so you can have and try this out for yourself. Yeah, thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know down in the comments if you learned something new and if you're excited for what's coming next. And thank you for taking a chance at watching this video. Thank you for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.